Yo. What's up? What's, what's poppin', my G? What's the word? Hey, man, listen, first and foremost, I want to say I appreciate you for uh, letting me do this interview with you tonight. It's all love. It's all love. Hey, hey, listen, so I, um, I was watching, I was with a homie of mine, and we was watching, uh, uh, we was just watching YouTube and shit, and he was saying, now this nigga Sada Baby is nice. That nigga really lit. I didn't, I didn't know who you was at first. So I'm like, I remember to talk to him. Said we I'm the hardest nigga. Him. I'm the hardest nigga doing this shit. Listen, listen, listen. That's crazy. Back, so I, uh, I, I, um, I pull up the YouTube and shit, and I'm like, damn, I feel like an idiot. Like, <laughs> like, 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 I'm like, what the fuck? This nigga is literally hot as shit. So first of all, no, I appreciate that. I appreciate I'm that. Like, I want to. Nah, nah. Of course, I want to. First of all, I want to give you your roses, give you your love, and say, yo, shout out to you because you're definitely moving. And for a nigga not to know who you is, they gotta be fine or deaf or not paying attention. So I definitely want to shout at this point, at this point, the motherfuckers don't know who I am. That's motherfuckers. That's motherfuckers trying not to know who I am, or that's motherfuckers just not admitting that they know who I am. But I done been where a nigga's supposed to go. Like the only thing that ain't happened is like I don't got a million followers. I never had a gold plaque. I never had a platinum record. I didn't go Billboard top five yet. But I done did some shit though. You feel me? I got my YouTube plaque. I was uh my my CD was number one on the Billboard Heat Seeker uh, charts this year, you know what I'm saying? Um, I was uh top ten on all damn near all the charts on uh Apple Music when I dropped my CD. Um, I got the most million view videos as a, a single artist coming out of Detroit. I got more million view videos than Big Shine, uh, fucking uh, Eminem, all them niggas, like for real. Yeah. Like yeah. As, as far as the nigga like coming from my way, I got like sixty seven. 67 different videos on YouTube. Oh, oh yeah, we can't do that one. The show can't do that one. Yeah, we on the freeway. This nigga Sauce Walker driving crazy as hell. We can't, yeah, can't do that one. Oh. But no, um, but yeah, I, I got like 66, 67 different videos on YouTube. You feel me? Whether it's me or it's me feature, uh, featuring with somebody, you feel me? They got a million views or more on there. You know what I'm saying? And then my, my work ethic, I think, is different than anybody else, too. Because I got about 450, 500 songs on ice. Yo, listen. Not even the songs you did. did interviews with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, you got yeah. that. Mad, mad I did people. interviews. I'd have been in them rooms. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas like Chris Brown that shouted me out. Yellow Beats that acknowledged me. Uh, Meek Mill uh, acknowledged me real early in my career on TMZ. Um, I mean, I, I done been around, you know what I'm saying? Like, I done, I done seen to learn the good and the bad with this shit. So right now, I still consider myself in the layup line as far as, like, the goals that I want to achieve. But as big as people want to make me seem or, or say that I am, from the kids to my people to my homeboys and brothers and cousins, I, I, let, them, I let them look at me as that, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like that that's just I'm going in the right direction if they feel like I'm that big. If me, myself, personally, I don't feel like I'm where I need to be at. Uh, of my caliber of entertainer and rapper, I feel like, yeah, my shit's supposed to be somewhere way broader than right. just in every state, kind of. Like, I'm in a lot of states heavy, but I'm in every state, kind of. I'm over in other countries, kind of. You see what I'm saying? But I'm not like I'm not like that main nigga in like 30 or more states. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm like one of them. I'm like one of them niggas. I'm like yeah, he one of them niggas in like five states. You see what I'm right. saying? But I ain't like like yeah, no dog, big dog, big dog, big dog, in like 30 or more states. Like I need to be to where my my household I be damn near a household name. And like that's my what biggest I with the fact that you can be open about that. And I was about to ask you that because when, yeah. when we first got on, you said if niggas don't know me, they either acting like they don't know me or they sleep and i was like well it is people out there that probably don't know you and i wonder how you take to that if somebody say oh no nah, i don't know who side of baby is how does that make you feel how do you take to it if they not if, if, if they if they're from detroit i have an attitude but if they if they from anywhere else and don't know me it's boo you know what i'm saying i'm 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 not, I ain't Drake, you feel me? I ain't them other niggas yet, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't them niggas that's just super duper big and on all the commercials and on Saturday Night Saturday night Live yet. But my shit coming though, you feel me? My whole career been a day at a time, you know what I'm saying? Everything I ever did been a day at a time, especially with my music. Like like how motherfuckers, they, they, they follow a rate, shoot up crazy over one major incident or like one song just made it go viral and now they got me. 
No, like my followers be like I get a thousand to two or two thousand followers like every three four days. It's been like that like since forever. But them real followers though, I'm not buying no followers. These is people who was, who was getting introduced to my music who didn't know me, and now they becoming fans. You know what I'm saying? Like the biggest shit I feel like I did, and I'm I'm serious. The biggest accomplishment of my whole career is getting posted on uh, ESPN dunking the basketball. That's it. Yo, That's you it. uh. You played basketball before? Like, you, you played in high school? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, I was cold. No, oh. like, it says something like you wanted to you wanted to be a professional basketball player at one point? I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's a lot of niggas' childhood dream. But, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I was eating high school, though. Adidas camp, Derek Coleman camp, Willie Green camp, all that shit. Everybody had hoop, hoop dream uh, coming up. So, Yo, yeah. what happened to um, – I just seen you did some shit with Foot Locker, and you had, like, up-and-coming rappers, up-and-coming artists rap to win some money or something, or did that not happen yet? No, um, uh, it's uh, uh, the foot, uh, foot action thing, man. I'm partner, uh, partnering with them. Uh, the couch, the couch music series, man, with people they spit a couple bars, clean bars, no profanity, no cussing. You know what I'm saying? And and, and just showcase their talent, man. They get a chance to win some money, get a chance to get paid for for rapping. You feel me for their first time? Hey. Do you think you could do that shit? Do you think you could rap without cussing? I told him I didn't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, my manager and them, I'm like, no cussing. You feel me? But I got to do it, so I'm going to do the shit. You know what I'm saying? With no cussing. I'm going to make up some corny shit on some macaroni and cheese or something. I like macaroni <laughs> and cheese a lot, so I probably uh, just rap about mac and cheese, and that would be the easiest thing to rock stick and have some fun while I'm doing it. Facts. Hey, yo, you said uh, it was it was one point in time in your, um, in your career where you wanted to stop rapping at, at one point. And he was like, you started back again once you made your first five hundred dollars. Yeah, no cap. Yeah, I want to focus on that for a second, man. You was doing that shit for you was rapping for two years. You ain't make no money. Nope, none. You was, to, you was about to quit at year two. First, first question is, why at year two? You already you already two years in it. Why not keep going? At that point, it's like, yo, I'm I'm, I'm doing it for something. Because I was the type of nigga, I was the type of nigga to motherfucking um. Oh, to my followers, I'm outside, man. I, I ain't worried about none of that one shit. If I had to drag, I'm outside. But, nigga, because I was the type of nigga who, who talk shit, who talk shit about um, motherfuckers who just be rapping for a long ass time and don't make no money. You know what I'm saying? Like, you've been rapping for, you've been rapping for 10, 15, 10, 15 years and ain't never really made no cheese. Like, that's a whole, you wasting a whole lot of time. You feel me? So I just, I didn't want to be wow. a hypocrite and still be rapping and all that shit. You feel me? While motherfucking, um, I wouldn't be trying to just still be rapping and rapping and rapping and I had made no motherfucking money because I see niggas do that shit all the time. Just be rapping and rapping and rapping and rapping and they made no type of cheese, no type of nothing. And at some point in time, you, you rapping because you want to make some money. Like, you think that's a line to get into. So it wasn't easy. It, it wasn't easy, but um, yeah, I had like a a, 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 a one last shot or like you feel me, everything or nothing type of type of moment. I win this competition and I fuck around and win the competition over motherfuckers who had background dancers. They pulled up with cutout cutboards. You feel me? Like one nigga had Ao and Tayo up there just dancing on stage. Right, he was rapping like before they was Ao and Tayo. Like, they was just, you know what I'm saying, they just was coming up, but them niggas was fucking it up, and I'm like, shit, nigga, I don't know what I'm going to do to win this bitch, and I just, I just performed how I knew how to perform, and I won. Yo, you, uh, jeez, man, I was, I was looking at uh, so many of your interviews, and, like, I was just listening to you, and you sound really intelligent, and, well, even talking to you, I would say you are really intelligent, but I say your name, and uh, your name been in the tabloids for a few things. I'm trying to understand... Why? Why is it that you think you keep getting caught up in all this bullshit that's going on? Man, because the the the, the media would rather post me in the sense of me looking for some negative attention, other than posting all the other shit that I've been doing all year. Why you think that? That's, I don't know. I, I, I might be an easy nigga to put it on, man, because other niggas might already got this image that they don't want to fuck up. So I got to be the one nigga, you know. But. I ain't, I'm not tripping on that, man. When I do speak out and get verbal on any situation about anything that got something to do with me personally, I do it because I'm in the right to do it. But I ain't even the nigga who really just always on the internet. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I ain't never 
tag none of my ops. I ain't never responded to no shit they tag me in. I ain't never responded to none of them niggas in my DMs. I ain't never commented on none of my ops page. But when I do, when I do want to speak out and say some shit about some shit that this is a personal issue, and I feel like niggas supposed to play it the same way, I'ma speak on it. But as far as the media, you you know, certain blogs, especially the blogs that's trying to crunch their name up and power up, you feel me? They motherfucking, they gon' throw that up there. You know what I'm saying? They gon' they gon' they gon' put such and such in the caption for clickbait. You feel me? When they when 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 the, uh, they could be posting some other shit like a feature I just did or something. Like I just did an interview with one nigga. You feel me down here? And he was he was bull. You feel me? And he asked about the little shit that happened in the mall. But then he dropped the interview next day and like the shit that happened in the mall is like in the, the caption of the video. It, it's in the caption of the video, so it's like it's clickbait. You feel me? So it's like you know. I that, that, I just that saw that shit. I literally just watched that shit, and I'm like. It's in the caption, like it's in the description. You feel me? Like so, not the description. Like it's in the label of the video. You feel me? So it's like, yeah. like, like it's like clickbait for um for for the for the blogs that's that's not really up there or 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 really just really don't give a fuck about how they get to they know they notoriety. They don't give a fuck how they get to be a big blog. You know what I'm saying? It's like not if they, no integrity. No, none. Because I told them, I told that nigga in that interview. I'm like. I appreciate a nigga like Sean Connor for not posting it. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, I appreciate Say Cheese for not posting it because at the end of the, I, at the end of the day, y'all posted some shit that happened a week ago. You know what I'm saying? Like when they when when all the blogs grabbed it and was throwing it out there, nigga, the shit had happened a week ago. Mm. You feel me? And they made it seem like it was that day, and I'm like, you know, like yeah. So it's just like how they do shit. It's just weird, but. You know that's 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 one of the main reasons why I don't do a lot of the internet hoorah. You feel me? Because niggas ain't gonna do shit but screen record shit and post it. Yo, that um that sparks a uh, just a conversation I wanted to have, and just on some real nigga shit. Like, how do you think you can be a real nigga or have integrity and be in the industry at the same damn time and be successful in the industry? When when we got niggas like six nine that just do anything and just and they getting all the love in the world or you got niggas that's that's having integrity and they get they get no love at, at kind of um I, I i ain't gonna you you can you can be but i'm, I'm gonna say it don't matter mm. it don't really matter today like they, they don't like like the fans that six nine got like they don't understand life it's, it's, it's motherfuckers. <laughs> like it's kids and and like yeah, that shit too. Bunch of white people and bunch of like foreign motherfuckers from other countries that never grew up around no street niggas or had no big homies to tell them like nigga that's some shit that is frowned upon heavily and that don't nobody fuck with and that is some shit that you never do and that is lame as hell. So like when he be getting up and boasting and bragging about all the fans and shit he got and, and you feel me how he came home and did this all right for one. Every, except I wasn't on the live, but I guess because I was asleep. But everybody in their mama was gonna click on their live to see what your snitch ass had to say. And then for two, nigga, then then for two, everybody, nigga, and, 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 and whoever, all the little dumb motherfucking fans you had before you went to jail, you feel me? They for sure was gonna watch that video, your first video. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, that's what they want to see. Like, nigga, I wouldn't they even say I them. haven't. Yeah, I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it, but I, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna say that I wouldn't click it just to be like, man, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck on? is going on? <laughs> you feel me? Let me see. But, but like, yeah, like the fans he got is the fans that niggas like me and like G Herbo and like, like you feel me? Like, like we don't give a fuck about the fans. Like we, we try to touch the streets. We give a fuck about, we give a fuck about the fans, nigga. That, that understand us. That grew up how we grew up. You feel me? Like. The fans that six nine got like nigga, if you support a nigga like that, and, and and you feel me, our morals different. You know what I'm saying? If you rocking with a rapper like that, and who openly snitched and trying to make his excuses for snitching on why he snitched, and niggas, niggas fucked my baby mama, uh, niggas tried to rob me and all the yeah, niggas tried to rob you. You sweet nigga, niggas tried Sweet-boy. to kidnap you. Niggas tried to kidnap you, and niggas was hitting your baby mama because you a bitch, nigga. You feel me, like nigga? They know. Of all people, like of if anybody knew firsthand, they knew that you wasn't shit, nigga. You paid to be cool. You feel me? 
Hey, nigga, you paid to be one of them. You paid to be one of them. Like, you paid to look tough. You know what I'm saying? That's why them niggas was letting you be on their block and letting you cut up and letting you be tough and all that type of shit and, and, and say their names and saw nigga, because you were paying them. You were, you know what I'm saying? And once you got, I guess once you got the feeling like you weren't going to pay how you been paying, nigga, it didn't matter because they already was stealing your shit. You feel right. me? They was taking your shit, too. I'm a, so, like... I'm, I'm putting this on YouTube and you know, the, you know what the, uh, the title not going to be? It ain't, right, it ain't we say, talked it about six nine. It ain't gonna say shit about Sada Baby says something about six nine. That's why I, I, I asked that. I asked that because sometimes I feel like I be too quote unquote real in my approach, and I feel like that takes it, that, that takes the longer route. You get what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. all my all my YouTube videos, they don't never say this person says such and such and such and such. But I feel like it could get way more views if it said that because we talked about all that, yeah. shit, but it just don't say that. Yeah. And that's why I was asking, like, do you think it's harder trying to take that integrity route? Do you think it's harder? Man, no, nah, man. Like, through, through my whole shit, man, I just been me, man. I just, I, I just been me. In real life, I'm going to say something to you. If you say some shit or you say some, like, if y'all feel like you're on some whole shit, I'm going to speak my mind. You feel me? I ain't never been no bitch or no shit like this. So, like, when I respond in my comments, you feel me? It's me and the commenter. We got, we got, we got, we got a common ground because the commenter, 10 times out of 10, I'm never going to see him or they on a fake page. You feel me? And, me personally, I know for a fact, nigga, that you're not gonna say none of that type of shit in my motherfucking face. You feel me? So, like, nigga, that's my time to respond because you won't fucking do the shit in real life, nigga. And that's your time to say some tough shit because you won't fucking do the shit in real life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like it's it, it's it's the same thing with that shit. You feel me? And then the motherfuckers who go make fake pages, I'd be like, as a person, like, how it feel to know you a whole bitch ass nigga? Like that you that you ain't you ain't got your own nuts to talk for your real page. Be like yeah, fuck with a nigga talking about. Some, uh, you feel me? Like oh, yeah, I don't. Know. But yeah, like nigga, like, like, I, I feel life. like you gotta go make a whole another page, a whole fake page, nigga, just to say some tough shit that you wanted to say from your real page, but you can't because if niggas on your real page, the nigga won't forget your face and then split your shit when they see you because you was talking retarded. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like I ain't I ain't never gave. Right, two fucks about none of that kind of shit. Like when motherfuckers ask me about shit, I talk about it. But nigga, I ain't going in the interviews. Like yeah, we about to talk about this nigga, talk about that nigga, talk about all that. Like nigga, nigga, that been around a whole lot of shit. You feel me? Went through way more shit than, than what niggas be thinking about. So I ain't no. You uh, said uh, you said in one of your interviews that you don't feel like you gotta go into detail to your fans about to explain yourself. And, I don't. Um, I don't know who the fuck is them. I don't, I don't owe them nothing but good music and good music and good content. You feel me? If they if they know me, they know me. If they don't, I am. I'm not. I'm not. I don't gotta motherfucking prove myself or, or none of that type of shit. I ain't shit to prove. You feel me? Niggas from where I'm from know what it is with me, so I ain't. I'm, not, I'm cool on that. I move how I move because of nigga fucked up situations in the past, nigga. And I, you feel me? It's just how I go. I like. They don't need to. I. I don't have no need. The feel today to wake up and be telling them, you feel me, everything I did today, how I ate, nigga, what nigga, how I dressed, to, you feel me, who I swung on today, because this has been all kind of shit going on, nigga, but that shit ain't for the net. Outside of that, though, right, I'm ta I'm, I'm, I'm really talking to more in misunderstanding situations, like if something happened on the internet and your fans look at you some type of way, you don't think to clear it up so your fans can have a better understanding of who you are, because, you know, as entrepreneurs, as artists, we sell... A part of our job is selling ourselves, letting our fans know who we are, so they can love us even more. You don't, you don't think you got to do that either? Man, hell no, man. I, listen, if six nine fans can love him for, uh, for, after he's been a snitch, nigga, if, if a video or something go viral, me doing some shit like punching somebody, or slapping somebody, or, or if if my name buzzing around for some other reasons and motherfuckers talk about some bullshit, nigga, they better still support me because I ain't gave y'all no reason not to. You feel me? No, I don't feel like I need to come explain shit. Hell no, like man, like fuck that. You feel me? No, that shit just don't. I, I, on uh, certain shit I talk on, I speak on if I want to speak on it. Like, if, if I'm doing an interview and somebody asks me about it, I, I, I talk about it. I answer. But as far as just making a post just so they can get a, a better understanding of what's going on, no, no, I do not feel the need. Just, okay, okay. just don't. So you're in Houston right now, man. You are uh, from Detroit. Mm -hmm. What made you go to Houston? 
Shit, motherfucker. It's wide open down here. You feel me? Just came, motherfucking, just came to fuck with Sauce. Nigga, been fucking with uh, niggas like Sauce Man and Sancho for a couple years. You feel me? I just came to link with him and just was fucking with Sauce Walker, man. He was a real nigga when I came a couple weeks ago, so we just came back and was fucking around. I've been getting a lot of work done, recording and shit. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And shit, it's drink time, nigga. I ain't no drink in Detroit, so we down here with a drink at. How, how is it? How, wait, wait, wait. You said it's drink time. What you mean by that? Nigga. Like syrup and shit. Like, we, yeah, I don't know. Man. You got you to gotta school me to the game. Mud, nigga. Phantom brain. Oh, yeah. See, nigga, I, I don't know, man. We just drink Hennessy up here. I used to drink <laughs> Hennessy. I don't drink no more, man. I used to drink <laughs> Hennessy and chase it with water. We just drink Hennessy and, uh, and smoke weed. Where you at? DMV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm by DC for real. I'm from Baltimore though. So I used to live in DC. Where? Yeah, you've been mm-hmm. for real. Northeast Paradise Projects, nigga. Oh yeah, you've been you've been all through the hoods for real. Yo, what's up with the uh, music? You said you got something on the way. Yeah, I just turned Brady your bounty two in um this morning. So shit. That, that, that you, you, you been saying you didn't have a date for a long time, but you said you was working on this for for a long time too. Yeah, it really been done. They just was waiting on me to turn it in. I just ain't fucking with nobody right now. I got an attitude about some other shit that's going on. But I, I turned it in this morning, and I just had to, um, I had to rename. I was naming the songs. Like I, like, I take, I, I take a while when I, when I, um, I just turn some shit in. I like to make sure the songs is named what I want them to be named, and I gotta listen to the tape on its own, like like three or four times in different cities down here. Just to make sure that that's what I want to put out, so I revised it one time. And yeah, it's I seen fine. a uh, I seen a leaked song with Chris Brown and T Pain or some shit like that. No, no, no T Pain, T Pain. I thought it was Chris Brown. I don't know. Chris Brown for sure. You is that on the album? Yeah, but this ain't the album. This just a CD, bro. This is a oh. mixtape. I ain't never dropped the album. So when you want to drop this, the album though? Shit, like later on this year, probably um, like right, like right when it's about to start getting cold. It sounds like you got this shit all oh, mapped I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on so I can yeah. start tap in. I'm trying. Yeah, to like out. like Brady or Bonnie too should be ready like July, June, July, August, and then you feel me? We should be ready to drop the album like September, some shit like that. All right, all right. Well, nah, man, it's definitely been good tapping in with you, bro. Uh, send me all the clean music so I can get that shit out out here, and we, I'm gonna I'm be supporting you from over here. You feel me? I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna make sure why I got your shit together, man. Hey. Make sure, make sure why I get everything to you. What's up with this cooking shit, man? You gonna start this show or not, man? Yeah, I'm gonna do the cooking show, man. Motherfuckers, they done seen me make the tacos. Now they digging for it, so man, I'm gonna do it, man. You gotta do a cooking podcast or some shit. I am, man. I think that's I'm gonna do my my cooking and like my 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 little everyday podcast one shit all in one. I'm gonna figure it out though, man. Cause it's a lot of shit I want to do. You feel me? Cause I interact with my fans as much as I can. No, nah, definitely. It seems like you're fucking with the right people out there. Um, like, I'm not really too familiar with nobody on that side, bro. But I, I just seen a video of the guy Sauce Walker. Yeah, Sauce Walker. And he was talking about a lot of money shit. I'm like, damn, this nigga is on it. Like he was. He was on some shit. I'm like, damn, these niggas is on it out there. No, yeah, walk crunching for sure. Around no, this man, bitch, all type of Maybachs, uh, Benz, uh, Rolls Royces every day. That's how you playing. He outside. Yeah, niggas is getting too much money, man. I salute y'all though, man. That much respect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get in the mix, man. I might have to move to Houston, nigga. Like, man, I ain't gonna. Lie. I'm about to go back to Detroit. I'm about to go back to Detroit, probably. Uh, I don't know. But I, like, like, nigga, tonight, tomorrow, some shit like that. But no, I'm about to go back to the crib. I'll be back down here in a couple of weeks. But I'll never be in Detroit. It's cool. Houston? It's cool in Houston. I love Houston. But Detroit, Detroit, just Detroit. You feel me? That he said, I got to go feel it. I always got to go home. No, I'm saying, how was it in Detroit? Because I heard it was like, I heard the COVID 19 shit hit it real hard. Oh, yeah, it's locked down still. Everything really closed up. But nigga, that's what niggas' family is. So they got to go home see their people. You feel All right, bro. Gotta make sure everything's straight. You know, all this other shit and shit still going on in the hood every day, literally. Every fucking day, my nigga. I'm talking about every day. There's something going on in the hood and I'm getting phone calls and I'm 90,000, 7 million minutes away. I can't even just pull up, you feel me? So, 
think I'll wait till I get back out there. They'll be all right. Everybody gonna be okay. All righty, my good man, man. Keep doing your thing, man. Send me all the clean music. Like I said, I'm gonna push it down here. I'm gonna be putting on, put my niggas on to you. The niggas fucking with you already. When I posted the fire, niggas was like, yo, that nigga go hard. So you, you already got down here. I appreciate it, bro. Real shit. All righty, my nigga. Keep doing your thing, man. Good talking to you. All right, love. All righty.